Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that makes me say heck yeah. Heck yeah. So basically I want to talk about public transportation. I love public transportation. It's something that I think has huge benefits for society and is something that is really fun and enjoyable and practical. But unfortunately, right now, in the United States of America, in most cities, public transit is not what it could be. I became acutely aware of this on my recent trip to Germany, where I went to Berlin and then I went to smaller cities like Dresden and then Görlitz and Regensburg, and all of these cities had exceptionally good transit agencies relative to their size. I didn't have a car in Germany, I didn't rent a car, I think I took a total of one very brief trip in a car the entire time. Most of the time we were just walking around and taking regional trains, local trains, and it was awesome. So first I want to talk about why I like public transit. I think transit has a lot of advantages. One of them is that it reduces traffic. I don't know about you, but I've dealt with a lot of traffic congestion over the course of my life. I've spent a lot of time living on the East Coast Corridor, which is pretty much congested the whole way from Boston down to DC and a little bit further. And traffic just it wastes resources. Like there are a lot of hours that people spend sitting in traffic, either in long distance trips or in their daily commutes. And it can be stressful to sit in traffic jams. And even when there's not like a, a completely stopped traffic jam, traffic gums up the roads and it makes it more stressful to drive, it slows you down. Public transportation is awesome because it gets cars off the road, and it's particularly efficient when you're moving a lot of people. For example, like during rush hour, when you have trains, they can take tons and tons of people, and the marginal cost of carrying an additional person is very small. So with taking cars off the road, there are a lot of benefits that come with that. One of them is decreased pollution, so public transit can protect the environment. Uh, decreased noise, because those cars are sort of going around and making noise, and there's also a safety issue. Like trains in particular are very safe. Uh, and even buses, like if you're riding on a bus, your chance of a serious injury is a lot lower than if you're in a car. And I don't know about you, but I know a number of people who have been killed in car accidents, and I know lots more people who have been seriously injured. So it's something that concerns me, and I think that anything that we can do to reduce car usage and car travel is going to help protect human life. So it protects the environment and human life. There are other benefits to transit though. One thing I love about it is it's just relaxing to ride. Like when I'm on a train, I can look out the window, or even on a bus, I can look out the window, I can see more of the environment because I'm not paying attention to driving. And I can do things like I can text people safely, which is not safe to do, don't ever do it in a car. Uh, I can read a book. Uh, if it's a smooth ride on a train, I can even get a laptop out and get work done. Um, there's so many ways to use that time, whereas if it's in a car, it's pretty much dead time. Another benefit of public transit is that there can be like a kind of community that forms on it. When I've ridden the same bus or train every day, I get to know some of the people, and I've actually formed some valuable relationships that way. Like when I was in Cleveland, I ran a computer consulting business, and I met people on the bus that I ended up having business relationships with. So it had like a tangible financial value to me. I'm not going to be networking to get business contacts when I'm driving in my car. It's just not possible. So there are all these benefits to transit. So I want to conclude by talking about what you can do to get better public transit to happen in the U.S. The first thing you can do is to ride it. Whenever you ride whatever transit there is, you're giving a little bit of money to the transit agency and you're increasing their ridership. Both of those things help. Now you may not live in a place with great transit, but I would push you to look up the transit agencies near where you live and see if there's anything that maybe you could ride once in a while or occasionally. Uh, I like to sometimes ride bus routes or train routes even if it's a little bit out of my way because I like walking and getting the extra exercise and I like taking my mind off the road. So you may find that even if it's slower and more expensive, it actually benefits you in other ways. The second thing you can do is to contact politicians. So write to your politicians and say, hey, 
I really like public transit and I want better funded public transportation. You can write to state, local, like county level and federal level people because I think this is an issue that is affecting all levels of government and I think there's some degree of funding source at all levels of government in the US. And the last thing you can do is to talk about it, to say, hey, public transit is something that I like and that I want to see better and I want to make it an issue here in America that people want to improve it. That's what I'm doing with this video. So if you like this and you want to see this happen, I would encourage you to share this video and if you have any like caveats, anything that you disagree with or think that you could improve anything to add, please comment. And if you like the topics that I talk about, I would also encourage you to subscribe. Thank you.